Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Today we are going to solve another problem which was asked in AWS front end interview. So let's see the problem statement. As you can see over here, it's mentioned that we have to implement this get function that will accept an object as input and a string and it will return the value of that string from that object. So the string can be of different types. So basically the string defines the path of the key whose value we have to return. If you see over here in the first example, it's mentioned that we are giving, we are given this object with the key developer and value software engineer. And we are given this key in which developer is mentioned. So the return value is software engineer. Similarly, in the second example, if you see the developer has first name and last name. So if in the key, we are given developer dot last name. So we have to return developers last name, which is cross. In the third example, if you see, we are given an array of objects and in the string, we are given first the array. So from this array, we have to pick the first value. Then of that first value, we have to pick the key count. And of that count, we have to return the 0th position or 0th index value. So here 0 is written. Similarly, in the last example, if you see, we have array of object as well as array. And in the key, it is given, we have to return the first index and its first value. So here on this first index, we have to return the first value, which is null. Now the trickiest part of this problem is handling this path so let's see how we can solve this let me copy this from here and let me go to the code pen and let's start implementing this so we have to implement this get function let me wrap this on the console log so that we can print the output let me quickly copy this And let's start implementing the get function. So const get this will accept the object and the path as input the string path. Now, if you are aware, arrays are also objects in JavaScript. So we can use the square bracket operator on the arrays as well to access the index, and we can use the square bra bra bracket operator on the objects as well to access its keys value so for both the cases the square bracket operator will work fine keeping that in mind what we'll do is we'll replace these square brackets with dots so that we form a string of the pattern so let's say for this example where we have two square brackets we will form a string of 1.1 1 .1. now when we form this string of 1.1 1 .1, what we'll do is we'll split them on the dot operator so we'll get two keys one and one so we'll loop through the object and we return the first key whatever value that first key returns then we use the same value and apply the second key and then return its final value so let's see how we can do this javascript string javascript string method has a input so javascript string has an input method replace all that we can use over here so let's say path path dot replace all so all the occurrence of the opening square brackets will be replaced by dot operator or period operator and all the occurrence of closing square brackets will be replaced by empty string so after this what will happen is this opening bracket will change to dot operator these two will change to dot operator and the remaining the closing brackets will become empty space so our string after this operation will look something like dot one dot one so because the opening will be replaced with the period operator now we don't want this previous period right we want it to be removed we are only interested in the keys 
so what we'll do is we'll split the path path dot split on the period operator and we filter it out so what we are interested is in the ruthie values so when we split on the period operator this dot one dot one will be replaced by so we'll get three entries for this empty space one and one like this because before this period operator there is nothing so a empty string will be attached or unnull or undefined so all these three values are falsy values so we are filtering with the truthy value so all the truthy value will be filtered even if the string has zero so it will be considered as a truthy value so we don't have to worry about that so this will give us the keys now that we have got our keys it is extremely simple what we have to do is we have to just return the value of that keys so let's create a reference of the current object we'll be using this reference for traversing and let me use the for of loop and inside that what i'll do is i'll get the value of the current key and store it to that reference only and check if the current is undefined so if we are at a position where we the key does not has any value or we have found an undefined value we'll just return undefined because nothing is fine otherwise at the end of this operation we will have our value in the key on the reference sorry so we'll just return the current value and this should work so that's it a simple implementation let me run this and see the output so if you see we are getting the output the first value is software engineer second is cross third is zero and fourth is null the final check let's see for an undefined value so let me run this again copy this and let's say i print the first array's third value so there is no third index over here so it should return undefined let me clear this let me run this again so if you see we are getting undefined at the end so that's it i hope you have learned something new thank you for your time